Well, it was a sight that turned stomachs of everyone who saw it. Broken pots, shattered glass, ripped out irrigation. That's what greeted volunteers after someone vandalized a community garden in West Boise. Our Shira Matsuzawa spoke with one of the volunteers today. And Shira, despite the setback, turns out there's a lot of optimism and support coming out of this. Absolutely, Mark, and we'll get to that in just a moment. But back in 2019, I first introduced you to Bobby Aitchison. You can see her right there behind me when she spearheaded an effort to save this community garden. And since then, her efforts and the garden have blossomed. But over the last few days, someone has destroyed those efforts, and now they're asking for some help. It was very disappointing. While some people are starting their New Year's resolutions, or at least thinking about them, some volunteers, like Bobby Aitchison, are spending their new year like this. <laughs> Cleaning up at the Dr. Susan Williamson Taft Elementary Community Garden after someone vandalized it. We had a, a 20 of our 24 grow beds. The irrigation was destroyed. And then several very large, beautiful, expensive pots that were one of the focal points of the garden were smashed. The 7,000 square foot garden is a partnership between Boise's Taft Elementary School and the community. Thousands of person hours have gone into making it a very beautiful space. Bobby is the community garden coordinator. When she found out what happened, she was absolutely heartbroken. Uh, there's been so much effort and time put into rehabbing this garden. Police estimated about $1,000 in damage, but despite this rough patch, Bobby says there's been a silver lining to all of this, the outpouring of support they've received from the community. Between people offering to help and donating some furniture and, and giving some money, um, we needed that help, but it's just very heartwarming to see how important this garden is to the members of the community. We really are, are grateful. And Bobby tells me, Bobby tells me, despite uh, that they have had experienced some vandalism before, but never to this extent, she adds that they then try to nurture or mentor those people so they too can find an appreciation for the garden. And that's something they hope to do with whoever's behind this act of vandalism. If you'd like to get involved or help out, we'll have how you can do so at KTVB.com. Mark? It turned all of our stomachs when we saw that. All right, Shira, thank you.